Sir Charles Alexander Cameron, C.B. The 16th of July 1830 to the 27th of February 1921 was an Irish physician, chemist, and writer prominent in the adoption of medical hygiene. For over 50 years he had charge of the Public Health Department of Dublin Corporation. <laughs> Early life and education Cameron was born 1830 in Dublin, Ireland, the son of Captain Ewan Cameron of Scotland and Belinda Smith of County Cavan. He was descended from Clan Cameron of Lochiel. He received his early education in chemistry and pharmaceutical chemistry in Dublin. In 1852, he was elected professor to the newly founded Dublin Chemical Society, while continuing to study medicine at several schools and hospitals in Dublin. In 1854, he went to Germany where he graduated in philosophy and medicine. While there he published his translations of German poems and songs. <inaudible> Medical career Upon his return to Ireland he became scientific advisor to the Irish government in criminal cases and over the years took part in many notable trials, including those relating to the Phoenix Park murders. In 1862 he became public analyst for the City of Dublin, which position was later extended to 23 counties in Ireland. In 1867 he was elected Professor of Hygiene in the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland He was also lecturer in chemistry in Dr Stevens Hospital and the Ledwich School of Medicine, succeeding Dr Maxwell Simpson, and retained these positions until 1874. In 1875 he was appointed Professor of Chemistry in the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. From 1858 to 1863 he was editor and part proprietor of the Agricultural Review, in which he wrote hundreds of articles on various subjects. In 1860–62, he was also editor of the Dublin Hospital Gazette and afterwards published many reports upon public health to the Dublin Journal of Medical Science. At this time he was in contact with many agricultural associations both in Ireland and abroad and received a number of awards and tributes. In 1874 he became co-medical officer of health for Dublin Corporation and two years later became chief medical officer. Being in charge of the Public Health Department of Dublin City meant that he was always in the public eye, and due to the level of poverty and disease in the city at the time his work was cut out for him. He made many recommendations for improving the sanitation of dwellings and saw to it that unsanitary housing was either improved or closed down. He published numerous sanitary reports, papers on hygiene, the social life of the very poor and proper eating habits, those of the very poor in particular. On the other hand, he was in a position to meet the major figures of the day, from the monarchy and the government downwards. He was a member of several clubs in the city and dined with local and visiting celebrities alike, which he described in his reminiscences. In 1884 he became Vice President of the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland, and the following year became President. He was knighted in 1885 in consideration of his scientific researches, and his services in the cause of public health. In 1886, he published his history of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and of the Irish schools of medicine. This work contains nearly 300 biographies of the most eminent medical men Ireland. Topic: <laughs> Later life. He was a leading Freemason in Dublin. In 1911, he was made a Freeman of the city and honored by many from the Sinn Féin Lord Mayor Alderman Kelly to the Lord Lieutenant Lord Aberdeen. He died at his home on Raglan Road in Dublin and was interred in Mount Jerome Cemetery. In 1862 he married Lucy McNamara of Dublin. 
At his death he left a son and two daughters, his eldest son, Captain Charles J. Cameron, died in a boating accident in Athlone in 1913, while another son, Lieutenant Ewan Henry Cameron, shot himself in a train in Newcastle in 1915 while on the way to the Western Front. Works <laughs> 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 Reminiscences of Sir Charles A. Cameron, C.B., 1913 History of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and of the Irish Schools of Medicine 1886 See also Hygiene <laughs>